What's going on, my geeks? This is just a quick impromptu video about recharging alkaline batteries. Not rechargeable alkalines. Do those even still exist? But just normal alkaline AAA batteries in this case. As you can see, the red light on my mouse has come on and Windows is showing that I'm at about 4% battery life right now on my mouse. And I'll show you that the mouse is two normal Energizer alkaline batteries. So what I'm gonna do here is put them in my run-of-the-mill USB charger. So take this, I'll put it right there, put the alkaline battery, Energizer battery, non-rechargeable. In fact, it would say, don't attempt to charge. I'm going to leave it on here for about an hour and we'll see what the results are. And I will check every 10 minutes or so, I'll come back and feel because these will burst. I don't recommend you do this willy-nilly because alkaline batteries in normal battery chargers will burst after enough time. I've heard it. There's two pops and a squirt sound, so they'll burst. So you want to be careful with this. So every few minutes, I'm going to come back and feel them to test if they're getting too warm. If they're getting too warm, take them out. I would only attempt to do this really once if I was going to attempt it at all. But this is all in the effort to kind of save money and kind of get you by until you get a new set of batteries or invest in some rechargeable. So we'll see what happens. I am going to cut the video now and I'll come back after about an hour to see how much charge we got left. Sorry, how much charge we've gained. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I put these in at 4.30. It is now 5.30ish. Um, these haven't even gotten warm to the touch at all in the entire hour, and an hour really isn't a lot of time. So, how much charge could it have gotten in an hour? This, especially because this isn't a high output uh, charger. I think it's uh, 250 milliamps or so. Let's see if I can get better light. Focus, darn you, 190 milliamps. Okay, so it's it's not that much, but it's okay. I'm going to pop them back in. It's so hard to do things one-handed. Oh, I already turned on, wonderful. But that's fine, because I know I had 4% battery life. Now, the red light is off. Let's see if the mouse works. Please focus, for the love of God. What is Windows reporting for the battery life? To focus, I thought automatic camera mode was supposed to be really good. It says 82%. Now, that's not going to be accurate for the following reason. There's going to be some droop in the voltage. So what I'm going to do here is check back in another hour. So at 6.30, I'm going to see where the percentage is after there's been a current put on the mouse. I'm not going to turn the mouse off at all. Just going to leave it on and use it for an hour and see where we are at. Okay, it's now about an hour later, it's 6.35 p.m. I have been using the mouse for that entire time. I have been mixing my, you know, putting together my show, uh, messing around with Flight Simulator. So remember, we started at 82% after I recharged these alkaline, non-rechargeable batteries. So 82% an hour ago. Now, we are at 64%. So we dropped 20% in an hour, but what I've noticed is that this is kind of leveled off. So what I'm going to do is revisit in one more hour. So two hours after recharging the non-rechargeable alkaline battery to see if it settles in a little bit more. And I'll just say right now, no, I'm not using a voltmeter and all that kind of stuff so we can measure the actual voltage sag when I put a load on here. But that's a, a quick point I wanted to make. This mouse is a very, very low draw device. So while there, yes, technically, scientifically, will be a voltage sag on it, this is not pulling very much current, so the sag wouldn't be that much anyways. And the purpose of this video is just to show you that you can squeeze a little bit more life out of your disposable alkaline batteries if you recharge them carefully, especially in use case scenarios like remote controls and mice. So any more high draw applications like in a, 
a flashlight, what have you, which still this is an LED, it's not that much of a current draw. Um, it's not going to last you as long in a flashlight, but it could last you long enough to get out of a sticky situation, maybe. Now I'm going to do another hour to see where we settle in here, and I don't anticipate it's going to be much lower than that. So, one hour from now, let's check back at around 7.40ish. Alright, I've paused Colin's video because it is about 7.38, about an hour later. Let's see where the battery percentage of my wireless mouse is on my non-rechargeable but recharged alkaline AAA batteries. So I'm going to go over here to my options thing and pull everything up that I need. Wait for it to populate. 61%. So it is safe to say we have settled in. Remember, when I started all of this, I was at 4% on my non-rechargeable AAA batteries. I popped them in my charger for a little less than an hour at 190 milliamps uh, per hour and I got it up to an initial display of 82% or thereabouts and I would have settled in over the next few hours down to 61%. An hour ago I was at about 64% or so. So it's safe to say I've settled into the current draw of this mouse and I can expect days, if not weeks, of extra battery life from recharging my alkaline, non-rechargeable batteries. Now, I will say one more time, do this at your own risk. Do it with a charger. I freaking hate the autofocus. Do it with a charger you don't mind losing. I would suspect you don't mind, you know, losing uh, your disposable battery. So it really can't hurt to try this if you're okay risking your battery charger and you're relatively safe about it. Monitor it. Don't just put the batteries, the non-rechargeable alkaline batteries on the charger overnight and just walk away. Don't do that. Check on them every few minutes. Put your fingers on them. Make sure they're not getting too warm. If they get too hot, take those babies off of there. And this might not work in all cases either. Your batteries can be so far gone, they can be destroyed and they won't take a charge at all. Even though in the first place, they're not meant to take a charge. So, I hope this helps some of you out there kind of squeeze a little bit of extra life out of your alkaline batteries. In a lot of cases, especially low current usage scenarios such as mice and um, your TV remote controls, you can actually get quite a bit more battery life out of your disposable alkaline batteries if you're safe about recharging them to a point. Your mileage may vary. Thank you for watching this video. It's been a pleasure bringing it to you. I just like geeking out about these types of things and good luck. Remember to be good to yourselves and others and most of all, remember that you are loved. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I also have a podcast that comes out five days a week. I've got a radio show here in Houston, so make sure you're, make sure you're subscribed to the podcast. We have a lot of fun on there. Um, I've actually had Colin on there several times talking about geeky stuff. It's been a lot of fun. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. All right, so this is a few days later after the weekend. It's Monday, and uh, showing 50%. So one hour of charging, non-rechargeable alkaline batteries. Pretty good result thus far. My little mouse here.